Nothing like sitting back with your feet propped up next to the fire. Wait a minute. That's not very warm. <laughs> well, last week, I'm in Louisiana, of course. Last week we had a uh, severe winter storm come through here. It got down as low as 15, I think. <laughs> uh, the first night that the uh, storm hit, I tried to turn the heater on. This is, you know, one of those fake fireplaces, but it does put out, you know, quite a bit of heat. It's pretty nice. Um, turned it on. Everything was honky-dory. I woke up, uh, you know, a few hours later when it was really cold and uh, realized this thing wasn't working and I couldn't figure out why at the time because I was playing around with the buttons. I'm like, okay, and, you know, flames are relevant. This is really irrelevant. You can... You can turn that off, down, whatever. It doesn't matter. The uh, I would I would call for heat, and I could see the elements, you know, getting hot, and I felt air, but then in a few seconds the whole thing would shut down. And I tried it and tried it and tried it, and I said, "Forget it, I'm going to bed. I'll try it to work on it in the morning." And uh, what was happening was the fan was failing. It hadn't completely failed yet. And because it was moving too slow, there's a little squirrel cage in there. I'll show you here in a second. The fan was moving too slow to be able to cool the heating elements enough to where uh, there's a thermal switch in there. Okay, so it, it, if, the, if the heating elements get too hot, it's gonna uh, throw the thermal switch and shut everything down. So the fan quits, the heating elements quit, and everything, and it's supposed to be designed to where when conditions are right, when it cools down, it closes the contacts and everything works right again. However, um, it, it would close the contacts, Everything would start working again, but since the fan was the fan squirrel cage was moving too slow, everything would heat back up. The thermal switch would open. Everything shuts down. So it was in that cycle. So I took it all apart uh, to try to figure out, you know, that part. That's that's why I learned. But it took me a while to try to figure out, you know, why it wasn't working. Um, so I found that, you know, of course these are made in China and you can buy that assembly that whole fan and heater assembly is available as a separate part but the part itself and it really doesn't specify that it fits this particular heater that's my problem the part itself is about 100 to 120 dollars depending on the source the whole heater shipped to your door is about 200 dollars so um, I, I, I didn't want to take a chance on that. So I bought the whole thing and it's a perfect fit. It came in with a, a damaged shroud, but this, this is the old shroud. It fit on there perfectly. Now to get this off, you just slide this up. So with two hands, one on each bottom right here, you can just pull that up both at the same time and that'll come up out of there. It's just held in with a little notch. You pull that off, there's two screws on each side and you lift it out and uh, the back is no-brainer there's screws back there you take it all off if you just want to look at it and see if you want to fool with it but it just the reason I'm doing this video is number one to tell you what's probably wrong with your heater number two don't bypass that little thermal switch you could make this heater work by bypassing just connect just taking that switch out of the loop connecting the two wires together everything would work until it got so hot that it caught on fire and you're in an RV it's 200 bucks is is uh, cheap insurance as far as I'm concerned I'm not gonna fool with it but let me show you the inside guts of this thing to the right of the squirrel cage fan you'll see the white thermal switch it has two wires going to it uh, one's got a blue terminal on it and the other one's got a, like a white or clear terminal there at the top of the screen, it's uh, it's again it's in front of the squirrel cage. This uh, heater assembly 
with a fan included is about $100 to $120, depending on the source. It's really not worth fooling with when you get the whole thing uh, for a couple hundred bucks. But there's a, a few days after the fan came in, the new replacement. 12 degrees outside, snow on the ground. Uh, this is Louisiana. We're not used to this kind of stuff. 73 inside. And the water is still running. <laughs> it was a good day. Win-win for everybody. All right, so that's it. You know, I hope you learned something. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of, you know, where I got this thing. And uh, it was on Amazon, of course. Amazon's got almost everything. But uh, hope it helps you. Hey, if you liked it, please subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.